Top 10 Witch Party Games Divide players into two teams. Hand each team a broomstick and a witch hat. The relay race begins with the first players in line for each team donning the hat and riding the broomstick around a designated course and back. The hats and broomsticks are then handed off to the next players in line, who must also race around the course and back. The first team whose players all complete the course wins. Have participants gather in a circle. You can place a cauldron in the middle of the circle as a prop, but it isn't necessary to play the game. The first player starts the game by saying, I am a witch making my brew, and into the cauldron I just threw frog's eyes. They can make up an ingredient of their choosing. The second player then continues by repeating the statement of the first player and adding their own ingredient at the end. The next player repeats the first and second person's statements and adds on a third ingredient. Play continues around the circle in this manner. Any player who forgets the preceding list of ingredients or can't come up with a new ingredient is out of the game. The last player who can repeat the full list wins. Before the game begins, write a collection of things associated with witches on individual pieces of paper. Fold them and place them in a cauldron or witch-themed bucket. Divide participants into two teams. Decide which team goes first, and have one player from that team select a note from the cauldron. Set a timer for a minute. The player with the note has until time runs out to act out what is written on the paper. If their team is able to guess correctly before time runs out, the team earns a point. Then, it's the other team's turn to have a player select a piece of paper to act out. Once all of the players for each team have taken a turn, the team with the most points wins. Fill a cauldron with several red and a few green apples. Blindfold players and have them reach in to pull out an apple. The green apples are the poisoned ones, and anyone who pulls out a poison apple is out of the game. Once everyone has pulled an apple, the players who weren't poisoned can take another turn. Replace the green apples as needed, and continue the game until only one player who hasn't been poisoned remains. Place a witch hat on the floor. Then, draw a line a few feet away from the hat. Players must stand behind the line and try to toss glow stick bracelets around the top of the hat. Each player gets five attempts with a bracelet and scores a point for each time the bracelet lands around the hat. The players with the most points at the end wins. Draw the outline of a large black cat on a piece of poster board. If you want, invite guests to paint it or color it in with crayons and markers. Cut the tail out of the poster board, and put it aside. Then, hang up the remainder of the poster. Attach a piece of tape to the tail, blindfold players, and see who can pin it back in place on the cat. In this version of Freeze Tag, one player is designated as the Wicked Witch and another as the Good Witch. The Wicked Witch has a broom that they must fly around on as they chase players. The Good Witch has a magic wand. The remaining players must run from the Wicked Witch. Anyone the Wicked Witch tags has to freeze in place. The Good Witch must tap frozen players with their wand to set them free without being tagged by the Wicked Witch. After two minutes, play stops and anyone who is still frozen is turned wicked. Those who are unfrozen are turned into Good Witches. The Witch with the most players on their side wins. Then, new players can take turns as the wicked and good witches. Cut several broomsticks out of poster board, one fewer than you have players. Tape them to the floor. Just like with musical chairs, play some music and have players circle the line of broomsticks. When the music stops, players must sit on a broomstick, and the player left standing is out. Then, take away one of the broomsticks, and continue the game until only one player is left. Set out two cauldrons with two lists of ingredients to make spells. Hide the ingredients around the party space. Divide guests into two teams, and send them on a scavenger hunt to find the ingredients needed to fill their cauldrons. The first team to find all of its items and put them in the cauldron wins. Fill a witch hat shaped piñata, or simply a piñata with a spooky or magical theme, with an assortment of treats. Hand each guest a witch hat. Then, have players take turns whacking the piñata with a broomstick. When the piñata breaks open and the treats spill to the ground, players must scoop them up using their witch hats. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos.
And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.